and welcome to a new video. I hope you are staying safe and healthy and in this video we'll be painting koi fish. So before I get into the tutorial, I'm going to quickly tell you the materials I used. I used my Montmartre watercolour set, my Montmartre 300 GSM watercolour pad, my medium Chinese brush, my Windsor and Newton brushes, and masking tape. So first things first, I taped down the sides of my page to stop the page from warping as I paint, and to get nice clean edges when I remove the tape later. I reused this tape so it was less sticky and so it won't rip my page when I remove it. Then I used phalo blue for the background as a light wash. You can wet the entire page first and then brush a little paint across the page, more or less evenly. Then I let this wash dry. So before you start painting anything new, it can always be helpful to have a bunch of reference photos in front of you as you paint. This can be other people's koi fish paintings or photos of koi fish. I think a mix of both is best. To observe the shape of the koi fish, it's very important especially for the head and main body of the fish, so this is excluding the tail and fins. I began with the main body which is similar to an eye shape or a short banana, whatever works for you, then you want to make adjustments to the head of the koi fish. The tail can be more expressive and should flow with the curve of the fish's body as this is moving in the direction the fish is swimming to mimic that lifelike movement. The fins are short strokes in the middle of the main body, starting the stroke at the body of the fish and then as a short stroke outwards towards the back of the fish. To paint the tail, I added quite a bit of pressure to make the stroke wider and swiftly release all pressure as I finish the short stroke. This helps to add a dry brushing effect at the very end of the tail. I admittedly did this better with my lighter blue fish. You can add a second set of fins but this is entirely up to your preference. At the koi fish's head, it has these two wiggly whiskers, which helps to identify the fish more easily. When I painted the main body, while it was still wet, I added a crimson to bleed into the blue giving it more variation and contrast with the blue, with a soft blend. You can however add a second colour with the wet on dry technique, which I did with the darker blue koi fishes, where the strokes are more prominent and detailed.
I liked painting my koi fish in a curved position as it suggests more of a swimming motion. I added a bit more detail by painting scales, which I used my size 3 Windsor and Newton brush instead of my Chinese brush. To paint the scales, I painted them as a curved U-like shape on the sides of the fish. I added lines along the length of the fins and added a darker stroke along the middle of the main body of my lighter blue koi fish to suggest the top fin. I didn't want to add too much detail as this was more of a suggestion of a koi fish but as always I got a little carried away but I'm not that guilty because I love how these turned out. Then I removed the masking tape and that is my rendition of Koi Fish done. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe, it would really help me out. I post a new video every single week. And as always, God bless and I'll see you later.